Ah, the Atari Jaguar, Atari's ill-fated final foray into the home console market. This 64-bit, and I use that term advisedly, system was supposed to be the machine that was going to put Atari back on top of the console market and crush Sega and Nintendo. However, that wasn't to be. And unfortunately, due to its complicated hardware and, frankly, poor developer support, it died a death. A very painful death at that. But, like all other systems, there are those out there who seek to keep the Atari Jaguar alive through the wonders of emulation. And the Jaguar has been a difficult system to emulate over the years. Indeed, it's only really, I would argue, in the last four or five years that we've had anything like acceptable performance from most Jaguar emulators and even then the best of the Jaguar emulators which I'm going to show you in a moment don't really have 100% perfect compatibility but that's just the nature of emulation I guess anyway I'm just going to do a little bit of hyping here for my channel if you do find yourself enjoying this video don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons because apparently mentioning them now rather than at the end of my video leads to higher retention and better sign up rates at least that's what youtube tell me anyway today i'm going to show you how to emulate the atari jaguar using the project phoenix emulator which if you've seen my video on the 3do emulation you will know is a bloody good emulator although it does come with a few caveats so here we go with project phoenix as you can see you've got your little sidebar here with all your options this main screen where you'll be playing and this is where you'll select things so you've got your usual stuff at the top tools etc but i think the important thing to do here is this is going through the various options here for some reason the window sub window does not display but basically you can select your controls and all your options here you know you get various options on this but this is the important bit this is where your main information will be found so first off you 100 percent need you know there's your save state but here we go the bios you need the bios it's called jagboot.rom i'm not going to tell you where to get it but it is easily available on the internet and then you need some games to play this is pretty much the entire atari jaguar library here not a huge library and a lot of it is frankly rubbish but there are a few good titles in here some that do push the jaguar a bit some that are barely above a 16-bit title just with a bit more spit and polish first game i'm going to look at here is flashback so what you do is you select the cartridge you right click it and there'll be an option to select insert like i said for some reason it doesn't show here but you can see at the top it says that the cartridge insert is flashback then you hit the power button you can close the collections window to get a larger view of the software and here you go this is flashback running on the Atari Jaguar. Now you will notice it's a bit quicker than say the Mega Drive or SNES renditions of this game, certainly with its cutscene here, much quicker in fact, but we'll skip through this in a second and here we go the title screen which seems to be borrowed from the CD versions of the title. But as you can see this is why so many people were I feel unimpressed with the Jaguar you're just looking at something which is barely better than the 16-bit offerings if we're being honest about it now this is quite an easy game and from what i've played this game emulates flawlessly probably because of its relative simplicity and the fact that it relies almost entirely on emulating the most basic video output from the jaguar and the motorola 68000 um, processor which Atari used as a bus controller or that's what they intended it to be used as yet many programmers actually used as the main GPU CPU sorry not GPU for running game logic now of course that's the processor that you would find in the Mega Drive and the Amiga and the Atari ST so yeah not really a challenge for the system to emulate so we'll quit out of that We'll reopen the collections window and we need to change the cartridge to something a bit more challenging. So let's have a look at Checkered Flag, not Club Drive because Club Drive is just terrible. Again, we've inserted it, we've checked it's inserted. 
and power her on. And here we go. This is a little more complex because you're now having to actually emulate the Jaguar's actual um, custom graphics hardware here. And to be fair, it's a pretty good job. You know, it moves at a fair speed. This is full on 60 frames per second. Admittedly, I will say I don't think this game looks that much better than what Sega were achieving with the 32X, for example. Um, but it is full 3D, it's 60 frames a second and it's it's a bit more of a challenge for the emulator to do especially at this speed you see there are a couple of glitches here and there but you know nothing too terrible so we'll quit out of that again we'll bring the collection back up and we'll look at something that doesn't work next and what we'll look at is iron soldier which is considered by a lot of gamers to be one of the Jaguar's standout titles and it would be lovely if this ran but here you can see see this is not meant to be purple that's a, an emulator glitch there where it's not quite emulating this software properly and what you'll see in a second is the emulator basically fall flat you can go through all of this all of this ready to hit the game and then it just sits here all you hear is the music and it just sits with the music playing and that's it nothing else just the music this is where the Jaguar struggles because the custom hardware inside it is not fully understood by a lot of programmers and it's difficult to emulate it's it's one of those tough ones as you can see we've got pause reset and various options here you know as you can see it's tells you how it's doing what each cpu and gpu chips doing save stage you can zoom the screen and out full screen record it even get an android version but yeah we'll just kill that for now but that's it it really is that simple you download the project phoenix emulator download the english language patch make sure you have the jagboot.rom file saved to your hard drive get some games and away you go setting the controls is as simple as going into the commands option select controls you can then configure up down left right abc the entire numeric keypad which you'll probably end up doing on your keypad on your keyboard and that's it that is how to emulate the atari jaguar in 2021 it's simple anybody can do it i'll put links in the description below for where you can get the project phoenix emulator and the patch from but until next time this is rob saying so long